What's up guys? So this little York here had its breaker trip. This is basically an on-site training video. We're going to take you to the problem that caused it and spend a few minutes looking at that specific part and what happened. Now, when a breaker trips on a machine, there's lots to look at. There's wiring, there's loads, there is presence of moisture. There's a whole bunch of stuff and I'm not going to go through all of that in the video. We're going to focus on the problem, what caused it, and we're going to focus on the contactor for that specific part to make sure it's okay as well before we move forward. But guys, before we get into it, I don't know if you guys have checked out the HVAC Know It All app yet. Listen, it's techs helping techs. We're each other's crutches. We're learning off each other. The environment is incredible sorry guys it's windy out here the environment is incredible there's a small yearly fee but to get off of social media and the cringeworthy comments and answers you get i mean this is why the app was created so guys i'll leave the link in the summary of this video so you guys can check it out let's get into troubleshooting all right so we have a problem with this machine i was doing the pm the disconnect slash breaker has tripped so we're going to go into the machine and see if we can find anything so we're going to want to shut that off, right? And then just make sure that there's no power present before we continue our diagnosis. So this is the compressor contactor right here. And it looks like there may have been some moisture damage here because we can see some corrosion a little bit. And you can see almost like uh, hard water deposits, you know, when hard water deposits build up. So. This contactor here, this is the blower contactor, doesn't look like it has any of that. And I'm not seeing any sort of sign of carbon tracking at the top. And I can post a video on that for you guys to check out as well, if you follow the link. But I'm not seeing any of that, just some of this moisture right here. So we got about 3.5 there. Check the next one. about 3.5 there as well and then the next one so that compressor from the surface looking in looks like it's okay we can check that at the actual terminal block itself but usually when I check here and the the windings all out the same usually the compressor is fine we can double check that but I did find something here at the blower contactor that I'm going to show you all right so this is the blower contactor I'm getting OL, open line. If I switch over, check the next set of windings. The power's off, by the way, and been verified. OL. And then the next set, OL again. So it looks like we have an open line on the windings. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the actual terminal block at the motor or where the wires feed in we're gonna check it right there I'm a big verification type of guy so I have verified that those wires on that contactor right there are going to the blower motor on the diagram but something else we can do here is just give these wires a tug because it's going directly to the blower motor and we can just make sure that those are indeed going to the correct spot so they are so we're going to take the cover plate off here and check right here so I've got in there so what I'm gonna do is take a picture of where those wires go pull the wires off and then check the windings right right up in here with my meter all right so I've set the redfish to ohms and also the audible setting by just changing the function so what I'm gonna do here and I did that because it's gonna be hard for me to film showing you this plus going up inside the motor to check the winding. So what I'm gonna do is put my phone on the ground. I'm gonna flip the camera around and put it down. That way I can see up in here and so can you guys. That way I don't have to lay on the ground, which is kind of awkward because as you can see, I'm already sort of pretzeled up here trying to get in to fit inside this gas pipe and whatnot. So let's check this here. So there's the terminals. I just pulled the wires off. All right, you can see them. There's three of them up there. So let's go across all three, and like I said, the meter is set so it will sound out if we hit anything, all right? So let's go on the first one here. And it's a bit difficult to do this with the camera in reverse, but there's the first one. 
and I'm reading zero, or sorry, OL on the meter, open line. There's the next one. Open line again, and then we're gonna go to the last one here. Okay, open line again. So our readings are consistent with checking over at the contactor. So our readings are consistent up in the motor and checking over at the contactor. So I'm gonna pull the cover off that contactor to see if anything went wrong inside of that thing. So I got the cover off this contactor and it looks to be in half decent shape. There's no pitting or carbon. None of the, the contacts are welded. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to push the contactor in like that and check across each leg to make sure that we have proper continuity across each leg because if we don't, that can end up causing a failure in the motor too. I just wanna know if this contactor needs to be replaced along with the blower motor because right now our blower motor has open windings. It's not shorted the ground, so what I'm thinking is the blower motor was starting to fail. It was probably over amping at one point because the windings were failing and it ended up popping this breaker. So let's check this contactor and then we can go ahead and replace the blower motor or put a quote in to do so. So again, what I'm gonna do is put my mirror leads across each line, up and down. Okay, one, two, three. I'm going to push the contactor in and check continuity across each line. The meter is set to ohms. It's got the audible signal on, but I'll tell you what I'm reading as well. So here's the first one. You can hear that sound and we're reading zero ohms. That's excellent. Second one, zero ohms again, and now the third one, so it looks like this contactor is okay because we are getting zero ohms across when it closes, there's no pitting, there's no carbon, no welded contacts, and I can't see any sort of trace of, of any carbon tracking, dust tracking whatever so this blower motor needs to be replaced this contactor looks okay happy hvacking